this video is about left hand kicks to remember kick values of special angles. First of all, why we use left hand? Because you can use the right hand to write down the answers and use the left hand to show the tricks to figure out the kick values of special angles. First of all, remember that uh, we use the different uh, fingers to show the degree. And uh, you have to do the thumb is a zero degree and uh, then 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and a 90 degree. If we want to use the uh, radian, we do zero pi over six for 30 degree, pi over four for 45 degree, pi over three for 60 degree, and a pair over two for 90 degree. Because from degree to get a radian, you have to divide by 180 times pi to get the angle for radian. Then what I need you to do, write down C over here, basically means the cosine, and then this S stand for the sine, and T stand for the tangent. For cosine and a sine, I need to write down square root over 2 here. Then for tangent, I need to write down square root over square root. This is the way to remember the trig values of special angles. For cosine, I will do this way. And for sine, you have to do this way. And for tangent, you got to do this so that you can create uh, the division line. Okay, now let's get started uh, for cosine. For cosine, so I close the first one, that's a uh, zero degree. So cosine zero equals check how many fingers over here you have one two three four so this four get into this uh, square root i write down over here it will be square root of four over two you will get one so cosine zero equals one cosine 30 cosine 30 and uh, i have three so I put a 3 into this uh, square root. I got square root of 3 over 2. Then this is a 45. So cosine 45 equals uh, square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 60 equals uh, 1. Square root of 1 over 2. That means uh, 1 over 2. Cosine 90 equals uh, no finger. That means zero. So square root of zero over two means uh, zero. Let's do this uh, one more time for cosine. So we have cosine zero equals square root of four over two equals one. Cosine 30 equals uh, square root of three over two. Cosine 45 equals uh, square root of 2 over 2. Cosine 60 equals uh, square root of 1 over 2 means 1 over 2. Cosine 90 equals uh, 0. Now let's go to sine. Sine you have to do this way. But remember the degree for each finger never change. So I have sine 90 equals, uh, here's a 4, so square root of 4 over 2, that's a 1. Sine 60 equals a 3, so square root of 3 over 2. Sine 45, you get square root of 2 over 2. Sine 30 equals a square root of 1 over 2 means a 1 over 2. Sine 0 equals uh, 
zero because square root of zero over two means uh, zero. So let's do this one more time. Sine 90 equals uh, square root of four over two equals one. Sine 60 equals uh, square root of three over two. Sine 45 equals square root of two over two. Sine 30 equals uh, square root of one over two means one over two. Sine zero equals uh, zero. Uh, let's do cosine and a sine together. Cosine zero equals one. Cosine 30 equals square root of three over two. Cosine 45 equals square root of two over two. Cosine 60 equals one over two. Cosine 90 equals zero. Let's go to sine. Sine 90 equals one. Sine 60 equals square root of three over two. Sine 45 equals square root of two over two. Sine 30 equals one over two. Sine zero equals zero. Now let's go to tangent. For tangent part, we use a square root over square root. So we still go this way. It just uh, create the division line. For example, this is a zero degree, so tangent zero. Check above this finger, nothing there. That means uh, square root zero over square root of four. That means uh, zero. So tangent zero equals zero. Tangent 30, I have one, because think about this is a division line. So square root of one over square root of three. Square root of one over square root of three simplify will be square root of three over three. Then I go to tangent of 45. Remember tangent, you have division line. Basically, that means the sine over cosine equals the tangent. So we have division line. This one is a create a division line. So you have square root of two over square root of two that equals a one means a tangent of 45 equals a square root of two over square root of two equals one. Tangent 60, I have three fingers above this finger. That means square root of three over square root of one means a square root of three. Tangent 90, I have four fingers above, but my denominator will be zero. So that means uh, undefined. One more time for tangent. Tangent zero equals square root of zero over square root of four equals zero. Tangent 30 equals uh, square root of one over square root of three means uh, square root of three over three. Tangent 45 means uh, square root of two over square root of two equals one. Tangent 60 equals a square root of three over square root of one means a square root of three. Tangent 90 is a undefined. So let's uh, do the whole thing together from cosine, go to sine, then go to tangent and uh, fill out this uh, table. So I have cosine, you have to do this way. Sine, you have to do this way. Tangent is uh, this way. So get started. Cosine zero equals uh, one. Cosine 30 equals square root of three over two. Cosine 45 means uh, square root of two over two. Cosine 60 means uh, one over two. Cosine 90 equals uh, zero. Let's go to sine. Sine 90 equals one. Sine 60 equals uh, square root of three 
over 2. Sine 45 equals square root of 2 over 2. Sine 30 equals uh, 1 over 2. Sine 0 equals 0. Remember for your sine cosine, you have to use this pattern, square root over 2. Now let's go to tangent. Tangent is a tangent 0 equals 0. Tangent 30 equals square root of 3 over 3. Or you can just write down 1 over square root of 3. Tangent 45 equals 1. In your mind, you have to do division. Square root over square root. Do this division. Then simplify. Tangent 60 equals square root of 3. Tangent 90 equals uh, undefined. 